Hey y'all, Brady here, West Louisiana Bee Farm. I wanted to share something with you real quick. I wish somebody had shared this with me when I started beekeeping because when I started beekeeping, I spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars just to get started. And I'm going to show you a way that I didn't develop. I want to give credit where credit is due. Uh, a man by the name of Sam Comfort, you can look him up in Anarchy Apiaries. You can find all kind of information about him online. Uh, but he's the one that came up with this idea. I'm profiting from it, okay? And I think you can profit from it too. There's not a whole lot of information on the what, what I call the comfort hive on the internet. So I just wanted to show uh, share with you briefly how I'm making them. And I'm using his design, so I'm giving him credit for it. But um, just kind of a brief instructional on how to do it. Uh, I've got a couple of hives here in front of me. And I'm going to turn the camera around and we're going to get started First thing you need, I use 2 by material. I use 2 by 8s okay? And I cut them down. i got to get my tape measure out, y'all. But I cut them down to 6 inches, okay? I rip them on my table saw, that pretty little gem right there. I rip them on my table saw down to 6 inches, all right? Now, what you want to do next is you want to chop saw them. Get my tape measure ready again. You want to put them on the chop saw and you want 12 and a half inches okay now you can see how I make my joints it's kind of a weird thing but I, I do this because I want to make all of my boards 12 and a half inches long so screws together here goes down this way screws that way goes down this way screws that way and you make a little box the important dimensions are not the outside doesn't matter what kind of lumber you use. I use 2 by material because it lasts a long time here in Louisiana. Uh, you can't treat the inside of these boxes. I treat the outside with linseed oil, uh, but I do not treat the inside at all. And I do use the stained, you know, the colored linseed oil. It's fine for the outside, but you're not going to want to use that on the inside. Uh, ma mainly because you want this... You want it to leach out the moisture, okay? And it, it really needs to go up. Anyway, I'm not going to get into all that. I'm about to tear up my frames. Look at that, man. Okay, the important thing are the inside dimensions. I say they're important, and then I show you that I'm about a sixteenth of an inch off. It's not a big deal, though. You want them 11 inches. Bye. 11 inches. That's the important measurement. Okay, You want them 6 inches deep, that's another important measurement. If they go any deeper than 6 inches, these little rods right here will not, they, they only hold so much weight in honey. So if you have them more than 6 inches, depending on where you live and how hot and humid it gets, the honey could start breaking off of these inside the hive, and you really don't want that. And you may have to adjust your depth out here. You may have to go shallower just to make this work. You know, one season ought to tell you whether or not this is going to work. Okay, the rods on top, these are barbecue skewers. Okay, they're jumbo 12-inch barbecue skewers. I'll give you That's it right there. And what you're going to end up doing is you're going to cut off about the top inch, right, right behind where the uh, the point is started starting to be made. You're going to take you a pair of pliers. See if I can do this one-handed. You're going to take you a pair of cutting pliers. Okay. You're going to go. Let's see, right about here, I think. Cut it. All right. Let's see how we did. Look at that, it's almost perfect. I, I could have cut another millimeter or something off of that and it would have been perfect. So that's how they work. Make you a little ledge in here. You can either do it by, by cutting uh, a notch in your board on your, on your table saw or you can just rip. These are like half inch by quarter inch strips that I, I panel nailed in here and I gave them enough room at the top for these to, my camera's not focusing right, for these to fit in, and that way I can stack boxes on top of it. Now, I do run a bead of glue, which you can see, I just did these, and, uh, 
I didn't. I was in a hurry when I did it. I, sh I got to go back and redo that. But I do get them to where they'll stay, you know, while I'm moving the boxes around. Uh, so I put a little bit of glue on them. And some people say don't do that. I, I use tight bond. It's organic. or Not organic, but it's non-toxic. Okay, for the top, you're going to cut you out a... Let's see, what is the outside dimension of this? I should know. It's 14 inches. Okay, so you're going to cut you a 14 by 14 sheet. This is really cheap stuff. I think it's like $25 for a 50 foot roll or something like that. But you're going to cut you out a 14 inch by 14 inch piece. That's going to go on top. It's going to fit perfectly on top. This is just a scrap piece I had. That'll be part of your insulation on the top. And then you're going to go on top of that with a, Sam says to use an 18 inch uh, flooring tile that you get at the scratch and dent, scratch and dent store because you can get them for as low as about 50 cents a piece if you get them there. So that's your lid. That's what you're going to put for your lid. And then you can come and, and when, you're, when it's time to harvest you can just pull the lid off, pull the ceramic tile off and then pull the Reflectex off. They'll have it glued down around the edges and it just kind of peels back and then you start taking these out you have you a bucket, you cut the comb off in the bucket, you take it home, you crush and strain it, you put this back in and they start making honey again. Okay? Um, oh, one last thing. To screw it together, my older ones, I was doing two screws. I recently watched a talk with Sam at a bee club somewhere and he's like, man, don't waste all them screws, you can cut your screw load down to half putting one screw in at each corner what does this do well to be honest it makes it a lot easier to to uh, square these up with one another as they're going down it gives them a little room to move but you yeah, honestly you don't need all the extra screwing around okay so that's that's the comfort hive you can use the ceramic tile on the bottom and the top if you want to or you can just put a wood floor <clears throat> excuse me a wood floor on it oh one more thing three quarter to a one inch hole front and you'll want to put one back here in the back too uh, do that on each each box and that'll give them proper and if they're if they don't like their ventilation that you've uh, offered to them they'll actually fix the problem they'll put propolis in it to plug it off they know how much ventilation they need and all we can do is offer them more and they'll they'll make the adjustment okay so that's I think that's pretty well it for the comfort hive I'll show you one more thing these two stacks right here are just about all you need to produce honey. You may go a little bit higher depending on what kind of honey flow you've got. But this would be considered a complete a complete beehive except for the top and the bottom not being there. I've got about 40 bucks skewers, Reflectex, tiles, everything involved in these two hives. I got about 40 bucks total involved in them. If you were to buy one of these hives from one of the catalogs, you're looking at spending anywhere from 150 to 200 bucks just for the boxes and the frames. Okay? Beekeeping should be for everybody. The bees need us. We need to help them out. And uh, that's, that's it. So if you're really wanting to get into beekeeping, I plan on next spring giving a little more info between now and then and, and helping as many people as I can get started in beekeeping because, hey, the bees need us, honey's expensive, and it's really, really easy, it's really easy to raise bees. You just got to learn a few little techniques, okay? And I want to share that with you. I hope you stick around i hope you come around i hope you come out to the farm one day and let me show you around out here and you know maybe maybe uh maybe i can help you out a little bit so y'all have a good day god bless and check back in later bye